Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Chad Williams Fixes All. In this episode, we're going to be changing the battery on this Chevy Trax. Let's get to it. So this battery is located under the hood. So the first thing we're going to want to do is hop in the driver's seat, undo the hood, and open it up. Now with the hood open, you can see that the battery is located on the driver's side of the engine bay. It's going to be held in with one strap and two electrical connectors. So we're going to go ahead and get the right size for those so that way we can take this all apart and get that battery out. Now the reason why we're replacing this battery today is because it's just been steadily losing its charge. Uh, we'll charge it up for the day, go back out the next day, and it is completely dead. And this battery is about five years old, six years old, and it's probably just due for a battery change. It's got about 115,000 miles, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be something that needs to get done. So let's go ahead and grab those tools and uh, replace that battery. So the tools needed for this is going to be a ratchet or impact driver, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and a couple of extensions. So we'll go ahead and start by taking the bracket out first. That's going to be the 13 millimeter. And there's just one bolt down here on the bottom. And then you should be able to lift up and undo that bracket just like that. It just kind of slides under there. Now with that bracket out, we can go ahead and take our 10 millimeter and loosen up the two electrical connectors. So connect to the terminal. There we go. Got the ground off. And we have the 10 millimeter as well for the positive. And that one's coming right off very easily. So now you got both of those off. You can see that this one has almost like a fuse panel on it. Just be careful of that. Make sure you don't uh, break it or anything. Probably pretty expensive. And then we can go ahead and Take the battery out. Now before going to the store to get a new battery, you can go ahead and take a look and see what type of battery we need here. So the cold cranking amps need to be 525. And uh, if you want the AC Delco battery exactly, this, this number might be what you need, the 8782U. But you can go to pretty much any advanced auto, AutoZone. Uh, heck, you can probably even get them online and uh, order a battery. But just make sure you got the same cold cranking apps, and then the negatives on the left side and the positives on the right side. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and run off to the store and uh, pick up a new battery and uh, come back and install it. All right, we are now back from the store with our brand new AC Delco battery. Positives on the right or to the rear of the car, negatives on the front. So we can go ahead and lift this back into there. We'll go ahead and mount the strap across and then get the uh, Electrical connector is hooked up, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, now with that in there, we'll go ahead and reinstall the strap. Take our 13 millimeter and our bolt. There we go, that's nice and tight. Now we can go ahead and remove the two caps. Taking off this little guard because we don't need it. Cap two. We'll put the positive on first. 
kind of push down on there nice and snug There we go, they're both tight now. I'm gonna clip this back down. There we go, that finished the installation of the new battery. Now we can go ahead and try to start it. And there we go, we just completed the battery replacement for the Chevy Trax. It should be very similar to any car like a Buick Goncourt or Chevy Cruze, something similar to that with the 1.4 liter. But if this video helped you, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my other videos. I got a lot out there for the Trax. Thanks for watching.